All right, guys, today we are going to be putting a new carburetor and an Echo SRM 210 weed eater. The fuel lines and everything. I use HIPA products, very good products. Um, there's the part number. I'll put this in the description below uh, so you can just click on the link and get it yourself. Um, it's got everything you need in it. So fuel lines, spark plugs, spare prim uh, primer bulbs, air filters, a couple of them, carburetor, everything you need. Fuel filter hooked up on it already. First thing we're going to do is take the uh, air filter cover off. Air filter off. Got two flathead or Phillips head screws. We're going to take those out. It's got a uh, gasket in this side, and then there's a gasket on this side. So, cut the fuel lines. I'll tell you where the new ones go. Um, the uh, throttle. We're just going to throttle this up. You see how the cable kind of come out? Even if it didn't, you would just turn this in a direction where it would come out, and you slide it forward, and then you get the cable up above that barrel and then boom it's out it slides right on out of there no problem all right um then we're going to go ahead uh the fuel grommet here we're going to get underneath it and pry it up get the whole grommet fuel lines everything right on out of it just like that ah, all right now we're going to make sure that there's no gas in there I, i've already done that um but uh you take the gas cap off make sure there's no gas it's completely dry and, and free of fuel in there um all right after that we're gonna go ahead and get the new grommets so what i do with the new grommet is i find the one that's got the filter on it and i pull on the filter just a little bit that makes this line a little shorter than this line here that way i know this is the filter line this is the vent this is the line that's got the fuel filter, and this is the return line. We're going to go ahead and stick the filter into the tank, like so, all the way in. We're going to push the back side down into the tank, like this, and then we can use a screwdriver to pry it in, one side to the other, just a little bit at a time. It's very tight, so again, force it in the back. And then a little bit at a time with a flathead screwdriver, pry it on in. So, oh, it's a tight fit, but you want it to be a tight fit so that it doesn't leak out. There we go. We're good. It's all the way down in. Perfect. All right. The vent is going to go up in here. Boom. It's out of the way. Carburetor. I'm going to slide this throttle cable back through the carburetor again. It's a little bent, mangled, but whatever. It still works. Let's see if I can straighten it a little bit. Yeah, I got it straighter. There we go. Get this through all the way, like so. Then uh, line up the barrel for the cable. Roll it up all the way, set the cable down into the barrel. You may need to use a flathead screwdriver to turn the barrel at the right angle. And get the cable pushed all the way in there. It can be a pain. There it goes. Cable's all the way in there. Pull the trigger. Um, again, while you're pulling the trigger, you may have to turn this with a screwdriver. Boom, it's inside of it. Full throttle capabilities. Perfect. So um, also on the carburetor, when you're sliding that cable in, 
one side of the barrel, I don't know if it's gonna zoom in on this or not. One side of this barrel right here is bigger than the other side. The bigger side is what the, the little piece on the cable slides into. So you gotta have that properly. All right, we're gonna go ahead and um, there's a gasket on this one. There's usually a couple new gaskets in here. Oh yeah, here, you know what, we'll do a new gasket. It's got new gaskets in it. So this gasket right here goes on to the air filter assembly side. Doesn't matter which direction. Then you put it through the carburetor. Then this gasket here will go on the carburetor like so so that the little holes are pointing towards the nipples. Those are the vacuum ports for the fuel pump that's built into it. And there's a vacuum port on there too. So you gotta have all that's gotta line up. Then you push the bolts through the intake block or isolator block. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten the screws down. We're gonna get them both started first. And then snug, snug, and then tighten, tighten. All right, now short fuel line. Let me get this to an angle. Okay, short, let me get the light on too. All right, short fuel line is the fuel filter line and the long fuel line is the return. Returns closest to the air filter. I'm gonna stab that in that side there. Now see it's too long. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's too long, so that fuel line is trying to kink, but you can pull it back off and cut some off, or you can even try to shove it back in there. Um, I'm gonna pull it off, cut a little bit off. We just want it a little shorter so it doesn't kink. And then we're gonna shove that back on again. Perfect, now there's no kink in that fuel line. Um, we're gonna take the other fuel line, the, one, the short one, and that goes on to the filter side. Let me get that jammed on there. Um, it's too short, I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more out. And then shove it on more. A little bit more out. Rubbing on a little more. There, it's all the way on there now. Perfect. Now, we can add some gas. And again, make sure that it's clean, dry. There's no debris, no water, no nothing in there. And then the gas you use is going to be fresh, brand new gas. This isn't a Gatorade bottle, so I can see there's no water in it. You, you know, you mix it um, 40 to one, you know, in your one gallon gas can. Uh, it's best to use non-ethanol fuel, but gas for these two strokes is only good for, you know, with the ethanol in it, for about three weeks. And then it just becomes less flammable um, and less explosive, and it gets to where the, the, these little machines just cannot run off of it. Um, so you always fresh brand new gas every time. Non-ethanol obviously lasts longer. Prime it up. Now you know it's it's hooked up properly because it's priming. If it wasn't priming, if you looked inside here, you see foam coming out of the fuel filter. You've got these two lines hooked up backwards. Just swap them around, snap them back in. No big deal. Um, switch on. We're gonna go ahead and give us a real quick try on this. Quick cold start so you can see it. Full choke, full throttle, primed up. Fired, turn it off the choke. cover, um, thin side of the air filter cover goes up. And that's it guys. 
All right, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Um, if you want to do any advertising on my channel, I'd be more than happy to have you. Just message me. Uh, all the parts will be in the description below. Just click on them and you're red eye. Peace.